this is it. It all comes down to this. As we come to you live from Oakland, California, to present the season finale of Chow Easy 2016 with Week 28's action. And here to wrap up another exciting year is the host of Chow Easy 2016 in 2017, Brandon Shedding! Hello, Oakland, California! Last week here in Chow Racing 2016, are you ready? Yes, we are! And hello, dear fans, home! Welcome to the final week of Chow Racing 2016 in 2017. <coughs> At the end of this week, we'll all find out which eight superstars and which four divas will participate in the 2017 playoffs. So let's get straight over to our first race of the night. Paul, who do we have to start things off? Okay, Brandon, the first race of our season finale here on Challenge 2016 in 2017 will feature Chris Nelson, Raymond Hill, Zach Arson, and the Harlem Chain Master F1 Kingsley. I know they haven't done a lot of damage this week, but I know that they're winners no matter what happens. And as always, all of our races will be held on the Emerald Course. Good luck to our first group, everyone that's on the clock. And please start the boys! Here we go. And it looks like number one is going to rest, so he will be live behind in the crowd. Right now it's number two who is also going to rest. And the four superstars are shaking the palm trees. And now they're going to eat the food. It looks like Raymond Hill seems like he was taking his news. And there goes the rest of the pack. They're going to be bounding for the lead up in the front. As they approach the bridges, and it is number two who wins the opening toss for week 28 section. But that was a little too early for that speed bus, don't you think? I think he only got a bit, a little bit that time. And right now it is Raymond Hill who is trying to catch up as speed bus number two we made by Zach Austin, who is for the rest of a while, but now he's trying to stay in the game. And right now Raymond Hill is still battling over the water at the current moment. And here comes Zach Arson. Now he's going to battle with me, my hill. And it looks like Edvon Kingsley is going to mess. As he will get the next command as us. And now he regains control of second place. By now it is Chris Nelson who dominates over his opponents at the current moment. We passed the one minute mark. Chris Nelson trying to wrap up his season with a W on his column. As we have back into the Hollow Trick Master everyone knows and loves. F.R. Kingsway, he can say Sayonara to Zach Arson and Raymond Hill, who have tried to battle for third place at the current moment. And who will have the next command? It is number one who will have the next command. Now catching up to numbers two and seven in a hurry in a freeway battle for D Life. Chris Nelson back up in front is trying to hold off F.R. Kingsway. We'll find out if he can hold on for the victory or not. Back to number one, and now he's at least number seven in the dust. That makes two in a row, by two in a row, at the come one, and down he goes. Down goes number seven, that's going to cause some serious damage. He's still with you heading for on the wall, as the next speedbus we made by, Zach Arson. That makes his second speedbus of the race. Now passing, or trying to pass Chris Nelson for second place at the come one. F1 Kingsley is the first to approach the home stretch as number seven will get a turn now. Leading over the force to which I had number eight. And right now numbers one and two are getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. And Zach Olson with another turn makes the pass from F1 Kingsley. He's gonna win a miracle victory. Zach Arson holds on his opponents to win this one. He is the first winner of our season finale on Challenge in 2016 and 2017. That speed bus paid off. I found it right. That was a good speed bus right there. And there's more assignment coming up. Do not go away. And now race number two, Paul. That's right. Race number two will feature the Bobby Mater, Bobby K. The computer wizard Peter Foss, last year's runner-up Gary Coles, and John Miller, the youngest brother of the Miller brothers. Everyone is on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, 
right, here comes the next group of, of participants. With Gary Cole, seems like he has a head start over the competition right now. As the four shot on chicken and palm trees. And now they're going to eat the food. And it looks like Gary Cole is dancing. And so is John Miller and Bobby K. And there goes Peter Falls. He will have control of the up in front. As the first superstar against Peepus is John Miller, the newest mom member of the Miller Brothers. Now back in this one. And right now, number seven and eight were both dancing to the beat as they are getting left behind on the competition, battling for dear life all the way in the back. And it looks like number eight's gonna be heading for the water as the next PS we may buy, number two, who gains a little bit of ground ahead of the competition. Now he is battling with the computer wizard Peter Foles for the lead up in the front, and it looks like numbers one and Bobby K are both going to rest. That means number 8 will have some moving up to do. As the next US we may buy, Gary Coles, who was last year's runner up in the 2015 2016 season. And right now we passed the 1 minute mark. And guess who's getting left behind in the competition? It's number 7, that's who. As he will have the next command US. But I think that's all he's going to get for a while. And number 8 pauses for one. He's going to be left behind from number one and Bobby K, who are battling for fifth place at the current moment. And who will get the next command speed bus? It is John Miller. That makes his second speed bus of the race. Now catching up to our leader, Gary Coles. Meanwhile, Bobby K is trying to desperately to get back in this one. He's battling with Michael Suchel and down he goes. That's going to cost a serious damage. I don't think he'll get any speed bus every now and then. Next speedrest walks to number seven. That makes his second speedrest of the base. And now he's trying to catch up with the best of the pack. Right now it is Gary Cole. So leads over John Miller at number two who are battling for second place of the come on. Gary Cole is trying to defend the lead in the come on. As number seven will get a turn now. That makes his first speedrest of the base. And he was able to leave number eight left behind in dead meat. All the way in the back. Number 8 is singing the last place blues, ladies and gentlemen. As he will have the next command speed bus, the winner of this exciting race is none other than Gary Coles over John Miller by a few feet. So Gary Coles wrapped up the season with 8 wins after struggling for most of the season. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this race, and it will be made by. Number seven, who is left behind the competition. That makes this more speed race of the race. All right, Gary Cole's got the victory. That's right, we'll be right back with more as I action at the Wii percent one from this. All right, Paul, let's simple it up this next race. You got it. For race number three, we have Nick Gimmick, Michael Garcia, Thomas Linguetta, and Joey Agassin. It's best of luck to these three players one last time. And please start the race. Here we go. Here comes the next four participants busting down the rainbow path and into the palm trees. Anything can happen in Joey Sing, especially when it's the last week of our 62nd season here on Joey in 2016 in 2017. That's the model we always say each and every week. And right now it looks like Joey Atkinson will have command on the lead up in the front, following in a close second by Nick Gimmick, who is probably catching up to him. And it looks like Joey Atkinson is going to be heading for the water, trying to gain some ground over the competition right now. As Nick Gimmick will have the open cars. I think he went down for the count, I'm not sure. And anyway, he got the open cars. And right now, numbers one and eight are battling for two I as they both approach the water. Trying to gain some ground on the competition at the current moment right now. As Thomas Linguada takes speed bus number two this race. Now I'm catching up to our leader, Michael Garcia. Along with Joey Agassin at the current point. Nick Gimmick trying to get back in this one. In the middle of the pack. As Mike Garcia will have the next command speed bus. Well, he was very impressive last week in his tag team finale. You think he might do it again this week? We'll find out soon enough. And right now, number seven is getting left behind in the competition on the way back. 
as Nick Dimming will get another turn. That makes his second speed rest of the race, trying to pass Thomas Wingard for third place to pack. Number two leads over the fourth to a chart back, and he turns for one. Now again, number seven and eight are moving up to do, and down goes number seven. That's going to cause some serious damage. And who will get the next command speed rest of the race? Number one, who got the next command, trying desperately to catch up with the other two in a hurry. And back up in front, Michael Garcia and Joey Anderson are battling for the lead up in the front, with Nick Giving trying to catch up to them in a hurry. And Michael Garcia is going to rest. That will give Joey Anderson command on the lead, but here comes Michael Garcia with the next command speed rush. That makes his second speed rush the race, trying to get back to the lead from Joey Anderson after taking a short nap. Meanwhile, the four Stewart Chow are closing in on each other, and it looks like numbers one and eight are both right around. So these two Chow are going to be left behind in the competition. That's the next BS we made by number two, who's trying to lead on the four Stewart Chow ahead of number seven. And right now, numbers one and eight are getting left behind in the competition on the way back. Battling for DI for the second time in this race. And that's number eight takes the next B minus. Michael Garcia actually holds off Joey Anderson to secure another victory. That's his second straight win after he slumped for almost the entire season. What a surprise deal that is. Numbers one and two are getting left behind. Michael Garcia finishes with four wins after struggling for just about the entire season. That was unbelievable. Coming up, we got more exciting action for you, but first have a look at this. Alright, well, Play Hard Contender has one last home standing on. Who is it? It is Big Cherry Tommy Nares for race number four as he takes on the 2014 Rising Stars champion, Steve Laymore, our defending champion, Walter Roy Gregson, and Dallas the Master Gamano. And this will be the first race to feature the Golden Chow. As our computer opponents for a race, everyone is on the clock, and please start the race! Here we go! So, after being eliminated from the tag team playoffs with the days bonus after a shocking loss last week, Tommy Nace looks to at least take a spot in the individual 2017 playoffs with a win tonight. Will he hold on to his playoff spot in the hurry? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, it is our defending champion, Walter Royal Quicksand, who will have command on the lead up in front. And who will get the winning toss for this race? It is number one who got the winning toss this race, trying desperately to catch up with the crowd. And right now, Tommy Days and number seven are both flying down the water. Number seven seems like he's trying to swim for D life. As Dallas the Master of the Mound takes Beavis number two of this space. But uh-oh, I think someone took a shortcut. Yep, Tommy Nace, Big Joe himself, has took a shortcut. Looks like he might be able to make the individual playoffs after being eliminated from the tag team playoff contention. We'll find out soon enough. And number one will get another turn. That makes his second speed of the race. Walter Royal Quake is getting left behind in the competition. But as we pass the one minute mark, it is the 2014 Rising Stars champion, Steve Waymore, who is way behind in the competition. He's going to need a couple of speedboats to get back in this one. This is the first of them. I don't think he'll get any more speedboats than me now. And he's going to be left behind in the competition for sure. By now, Tommy Nays has a huge ring heading into the wall. Meanwhile, Dallas Master Guano is also dominating throughout the rest of the back. But I think Tommy Nace is going to hold on to his playoff seat in the only one. Dallas has no one hold on. Next to us, one, two, number one. That makes his third speed bus to the base. Try to hold on Steve Ray Moore for dear life all the way in the back. Take a look at our Super Sons and the four Golden Chow climbing up the wall at the curve moon. As Walter Roller Quicksand will get a turn now. Our defending champion who shocked the world last season. Better to be back next season, you know, he's swept a little bit. Right now it is Tommy Days. I think he's going to celebrate an individual playoff seat after being eliminated from the tag team playoffs. Yep, as Dallas Master Guano takes another turn, Big Cherry Tommy Days secures a playoff spot in the 2017 individual playoffs. We'll soon know which seat will represent in the 2017 playoffs at the end of the show. 
Ask number two, spend it across on the speed was the race. He wind up in second place ahead of a lousy pack ahead. And that's gonna do it for this race. So, Big Cherry Tommy Days has clinched a spot in the 2017 individual playoffs. And he will have another chance to secure his first title. And we'll have more side action after this. So, don't go anywhere. Alright, we have another playoff contention ready to be served. Who is it? Race number five, it is Al Heath Sr., the license to drive. He will be taking on A. Wheeler Jenna, Ireland's fabulous war is Steve Lake Man of the Luggage Irish, and Jam Nellis, trying to quench your spot in the 2017 playoffs. Please start the race. Alright, so if Alvin Senior wins this race, he'll be qualified for the 2017 playoffs next week. He already had an undefeated season with Oliver J. Upton in the tag team playoffs. Now he wants to fulfill his individual playoff legacy. We'll find out soon enough and it will happen tonight. Right now, Jeff Nellis will have command of the lead up in front with Alvin Senior and Steve Wigman right on their tail battling for the lead. And it looks like Adrian Legenda will have the opening toss. He's going to take the bridges. Everyone else is going to take the water. These three channels are going to be heading for the water, trying to gain a long ground. And right now, number seven is taking the water as well. And number eight is going to rest. So he's ready to drop down in the last place over the bridges with number one. As Adrian Legenda opens this one up with back to back speed. Press. He dominates over everyone else. Right now it is Jeff Nellis and the license to drive out here senior who will be battling for the lead up in the front. Steve Wegman trying to join along to make it a freeway battle at the Cowboys. As number one will have the next command speakers trying to lead number eight in the dust. These two child are battling for two life on the way in the back. Out here in senior trying to make the pass from Jeff Nellis up in the front. As the next PS we may buy, number seven. As PS will be enough to take the lead over the four sewer channel over number two. Number one and eight are getting left behind in the competition on the way in the back. Number eight seems like he's winning the battle over the life. But the next PS is going to be made by the license to drive Al Heen Sr., who is now catching on to our leader, Jeff Nellis. And Ireland's probably his warrior, Stealing Man. These three Chow are battling up for the lead. Anyway, Jenna trying to catch up a little bit. And Jeff Dallas and Stealing Man are both going west. That means out here, Senior will have a command of the lead. And Anyway, Jenna will move up a couple of places. As the leader, out here, Senior has a little bit of a little mumble as he takes back to back speed bars. Now he's trying to put this one away a little bit away. Trying to quench a spot in the 2017 playoffs. And it looks like numbers 2 and 10 are both going to rest, and so is number 1. As number 7 will get another turn. That makes his second speed race of the race. Number 1 is getting left behind, behind numbers 2 and 7. As the license to drive, Alvin Cena wins this one. He is qualified for the 2017 individual playoffs next week. As Adrian Lejean will close out the speed race of the race, making his best speed race of the race. So Alvin Cena gets the job done. We'll see you next week in the Channel Racing Playoffs, is that correct? That's right, and we'll see you right after this. And now we are halfway there after race number six. We have another playoff contention. That's right, it is Alan Holmes taking on Larry Marlowe and the Scholarship Buddies, Amir Jackson, and Charles Sung Watson. Let's see if, Amir, if Al Holmes can do it. Everyone's on the clock, and let's mark this place! Okay, so Al Holmes currently sits as the number three seed in the 2017 playoff contention. A win tonight will capture the number three seed in the playoffs. Let's see if it will happen tonight for Al Holmes. <clears throat> And he will have command of the lead up in the front, guarding the rest of the child. And he pauses more as he is about to head toward water. As the first superstar against Peepus is number eight, who desperately needs to catching up every now and then. Right now, it is number two who is getting left behind in the competition. 
and number one is for less as he approaches the water. That will be number two and then me over at the bridges. As Speedbus number two of the space we made by number seven who leaves number two in the dust for last place. Right now it is our home so we're safely in the lead over Amir Jackson at the camera moment. Amir Jackson trying to make a midway statement in the early run as the next few as we made by number two who needed some catching up to do. But I think he's going to need a lot more help than that to stay in the game, don't you think? Larry Monroe is also trying to catch up to both Alan Holmes and Amir Jackson as number two who is fighting for dear life takes back to back speed bus trying to get some attention here and back in front it looks like Amir Jackson has the company both Amir Jackson and Larry Monroe are catching up to it and Amir Jackson scores like that as the next period we made by Charles Sung Watson who is trying to leave the four super chow in the dust Point number two is getting left behind in the competition in the back. He's going to need a couple more speed bus if he really wants to get back in this one. And this is one of them. Now he's trying to fight with the other Silver Chow. Now he jumps on Watson in the last place. And right now, Al Holmes has reached the top of the wall. As the next speed bus we made by Larry Marvel, who's trying to go on with Amir Jackson for second place in the pack. <coughs> And numbers two and eight are both going west. So Charles and Watson will be moving up a couple of places. As Larry Monroe gets back to back speed bus. He makes the pass from here, Jackson. But I do believe Al Holmes is going to capture the number three seed in the 2017 playoffs. He is leaving Larry Monroe in the dust. And he is approaching the goal line. Alan Holmes prevails over Larry Monroe and the Mew Jackson to secure the victory. Great job by Alan Holmes. As Charles and Watson will close on the speed runs for the race. That makes his second speed runs of the race. So Alan Holmes, as we just wrapping up the race, captures the number three scene in the 2017 playoffs. That's why let's hope he does well in the playoffs. Maybe his first title is up a grass. We'll find out soon enough. Back in a bit, do not go away. All right, now it's time for the second half of our season finale for the Mets Vision. That's why right. one of those races will feature Cody Giffborough, Kenny Nays of the Days Brothers, Barry McKenna, the 2016 Rookie Challenge winner, and Frank Fernando. That's what's going to happen for race number seven. And let's have a challenge! And it looks like Frank Fernando is going to rest. That will give Cody, Kenny, and Barry the opening edge. Cody, Kenny, and Barry are approaching the palm trees. They're gonna go bring down that coconut sheep food. And now they're gonna eat the food. And who had command of the lead up in the front? It's gonna be Barry McKenna. It's the 2016 Rookie Challenge winner who had command of the lead up in the front. <coughs> and it looks like he is gonna be heading for the water. As the first superstar to get speed bus to start the second half of our season finale is Frank Fernando, who is getting left behind in the competition and now he wants to stay alive in the game. And it looks like Barry McKenna is his quarterback. That'll get Corey Gispo also moving up to do. As Frank Fernando, who is also going to move up to catch up with Barry McKenna, opens his way up with back to back speed bus. Kenny Nays, meanwhile, is trying to stay in the game. But at least he dominates over the four silver chow. Or leading the four silver chow in the dust. He approaches top hill. As he will get the next command SP must as we pass the one minute mark. Try desperately to get back in this one. Right now number two Curry leads over the four silver chow. Numbers one, seven, and eight are all getting right behind the competition on the way in the back. <coughs> As number two, who leaves the upper silver chow in the dust, takes the next command as us, and now he dominates over the four silver chow. The upper silver chow getting left behind in the competition, still battling for Dion. But I don't think either one will get speedbus every now and then. Back to number two, and his dominance continues to grow over the four silver chow. He can't forget about being tailgated at this point. Meanwhile, back to fun. The other side, the other child getting climbing up for the lead. As number eight will get a turn now. Finally, numbers one and seven in the dust. 
Right now it is Frank Fernando, Barry McKenna, and Cody Gizmo. We will be battling for the lead up in the front. <coughs> That's number two, we'll get another turn. That makes his best be rest of the race. And he still dominates over the four Stewart Chow on McKinney Days. Right now, Frank Fernandez has his race all out right of ways in German. Cody and Barry won't be able to catch up to him in time. As Kenny Days will have the next command on the speed bus. Frank Fernandez prevails over the competition to win this one. That makes his 11th win of the season. A good chance he will come back next year for Challenge 2017. Well done. Coming up, we got more song action for you, but first have a look at this. Alright, Paul, as simple on this next race. Race number 8, Paul. That's right, race number 8 will feature Jason Hill, the Steel Curtain Aaron Miller, Corey Sanchester, and the Gundam Star Master Garrett Dayton. Everyone is on the clock, and we start the base! Okay, and it looks like number... Looks like number two is scoring right, so he will be left behind the crowd. And number eight passes for more in the back. Right on the four, John gonna eat the food. And there they go, busting down the line. Got Gary Dayton and Jason Hill are gonna be bowing for an elite up the front. And it looks like these two shall, along with the steel cut to Al Miller, are gonna be heading for the water. Try to gain some ground as number one when steel and toss for this face. And now he leads over the four silver chow thanks to that speed bus. Right now it is number seven, who is getting left behind in the competition on the way in the back. The four silver chow quietly rushing through the bridges as number eight, who has speed bus number two of this race, trying to lead numbers two and seven in the dust. Guaranteed the Gundam Star Master, trying to maintain the number four seed in the 2013 playoffs. As the Steel Curtain, Aaron Miller will have the next command viewers. Now catching up to Corey Sanchester and the other Silver Chow in a hurry. Number 7 is getting left behind still. We passed the 1 minute mark. As number 2 will get a turn now. Now catching up with Corey Sanchester and Steel Curtain, Aaron Miller. Right now it is Garrett Dayton who leaves to the front. With Jason Hill rapidly catching up to him in second place. We'll get with Dayton Hall and Hall, Jason Hill for the victory. We'll find out soon enough. Next best belongs to Boy Sanchester, who leaves the four silver chow left behind. Right now, number seven and eight are getting left behind all the way in the back. These two chow battling for dear life, not giving inch by inch. And down goes number seven and number eight. Which one of them will get in the next command speed mask? It is number seven. So he will leave number eight in the dust. Or try to eat number eight. That's what, no matter which way it goes. Meanwhile, again, Dayton has some company. The Steel Curtain, Aaron Miller, and Jason Hill are about to catch the up to him. He's trying to defend the lead as he hands for the home stretch. As he will get the next command, as he must. Now he really has some bleeding room to Momo. Looks like he will be able to catch on the number four seed in the 2017 playoffs. He is going to win an easy one ahead of the competition. The Gundam Star Master Garrett Dayton is our winner! Number 7 speedrun was too late, and he's way behind in the competition. So Garrett Dayton can do a number 1 in the Gundam Star, and he will have the 4th fourth, fourth seed in the 2017 Child Racing Individual Playoffs when it happens next week. Congratulations to him, and as more as something coming up, do not go anywhere! Okay, time to continue our tradition of the 62nd season finale of Jow Racing 2016. That's why, right. for this next race, race number 9, the jersey of John Stevenson, the next generation superstar Antonio Bennett, Casey Bakersfield, and Steven Robinson. Best of luck to those four superstars. Please start the race. And here comes the Jow, busting down the line, and Casey Bakersfield is going to race. So let's watch John, Antonio, and Steven. These three will be battling for the lead up in front. Who will have the upper hand of these three child remaining? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, the three child are going to shake the palm trees. 
and now they're gonna eat the food, and there goes John Stevenson and Steven Robinson, and it looks like number two is going to last. As the first superstar against the first is the next generation superstar, Antonio Bennett, who is trying to catch up with the others in a hurry, and right now it is number eight who is getting well behind the competition. Number seven seems like he is heading for the water at the current moment. A couple of silver shall are getting left behind along with the next generation superstar, Tony Bennett. As number one, while well, Speedboat's number two of this race, trying desperately to get back in this one. And right now it is Casey Bakersfield, who leads after taking a nap early on in the race. He now leads over Steven Robinson, who sits in second place and has a number seven at the current moment. Two child approaching the top of the wall. As number seven, who dominates over the best of the pack. Takes the next command to us. Now he passes Steve Robinson for second place. And now catching up to our leader, Casey Bakersfield. We passed the one minute mark. And it looks like numbers one and eight are getting left behind in the competition on the way in the back. Which one of them will get the next command to us? It is number one who gets it. That makes his second speed bus to the race. And now he's trying to lead number eight in the dust. Meanwhile, Casey Bakersfield has some company. Number 7 is right on his tail, trying to make the pass from him. As Steven Robinson will get a turn now. He dominates all the rest of the pack in third place. Right now it is numbers 1 and 8 who are both getting left behind. And down goes number 8. That's going to cause a serious damage. I don't think I will want to get any more speeders every now and then. Next first long to Casey Bakersfield, and look at that, he is the leader of this race, and that speed bus puts him a little more breathing room ahead of number 7, and Steve Robinson, who was going to rest for a while. I think Casey Bakersfield is going to celebrate an easy victory, and will be left behind in the competition for a while. And who will get the next command, speed bus? It is number 8 who will get the next command, as Casey Bakersfield ready to celebrate another huge victory over the competition, and Casey Bakersfield wins that! That was a dominating performance for Casey Bakersfield ahead of the competition. As Steven Robinson will get another turn. That makes his second speed burst of the race. He may manage to make a pass on number 7 for second place. Number 7 will come in third place. Number 1 is getting left behind in the competition on the way back. And we have just enough time for one more speed burst of this race. And it will be made by the Jersey Devil John Stevenson, who barely passes Antonio Bennett for fourth place. Alright, so Casey Bakersfield gets the job done. It's been a fine season he has, and we'll be right back with more side action after we hear word from this. Okay, we're still a couple of races away from a very important main event, so let's keep it up with race number 10, Paul. That's my right, for race number 10, it's the son of the license to drive out here in Junior, Chris Fernandez, Christopher Walker, and Glenn Murray. Let's see what happens here. Let's have a job Alright, so as you know, Chris Fernandez has the best record and is presented with the most valuable player of the 2016 season. He won Charlie's in 2016, earlier oh, in the show. Currently, he is 20 and 8, going for 21 and 8 if he wins tonight. Right now, there he goes, pressing that line. He is battling with Chris from Walker for the lead of the Cowboy. And it looks like both of these Chow are going to be heading for the water. And Chris Renarkos has actually took a shortcut. Wow, what a deal by Chris Renarkos. Anyway, Glenn Murray will have the opening toss for this race. Chris Renarkos has took a shortcut, and number seven is for the best. So he's going to be left behind in the competition all the way in the back of the pack. As he will take speed bus number two in his face, trying to get back in this one. Chris Renarkos extends his lead thanks to that shortcut. He dominates the pack. Christopher Walker dominates the best of the pack in second place at the current moment, ahead of Alvin Heen Jr., the son of the license to drive. As Glenn Murray will get another turn. That makes his second speed bus of race. Going dominating four place ahead of the four silver child to come on. By now, number two leads over the four silver child in fifth place. And number one is getting left behind in the competition, trying to catch up to the rest of the silver child on the pack. And this time, Glenn Miller goes for consecutive as he wakes up for a snap. And he easily dominates over the four silver child. But right now, it is, it is 
Chris Monaco, who has a huge lead over Chris Monaco to come on. I think he's going to go 21 and 8 tonight if he wins it. Next, Chris belongs to number 8, who now leads over the force to a child thanks to SPBus. And number 1 is still way behind in the competition. I don't think he'll get any SPBus every now and then. We'll get the next command SPBus. It is the son of the license to drive. Alvin here, Jr. Try to hold on Christopher Walker for second place for the pack. As Chris Pinagos wins it by a landslide. Chris Pinagos ends his season with 21 and 8. In his 29 races he has in his first season as a child racing professional. What a deal. As number 7 is better to close out this people's race. But I think he went a little too far as I think it's better to drop down the place or two. And number 1 can just forget about this race. So Chris Minogos extends his lead to 21 and 8. He's going to have the number one seed in the playoffs, and we're going to have our next race in just a little bit. So don't go anywhere. So as we approach the last couple of races here in the men's division of Jaguar Racing 2016, we would just like to extend a big congratulations to all of our superstars who have been in our 2016 roster. They are all winners tonight, no matter where how many wins they have. They're all winners for sure. Now, coming up in the next race, we're going to find out who will have the last playoff spot in the 2017 playoffs, with how many are looking to repeat at Superstar Week. That's right, but first, for race number 11, we have Eric Crosby, Dave Miller, the Miller Trainers, Brandon Washington, the Rookie of the Irish, and Fred Hemmerson. And this one's going to be in the Golden Chow again. So they're going to need to bring their A game ready one to be out those Chow. Let's see what happens here. Everyone's on the clock and we start the bets. And it looks like Eric, Dave, and Fred are all going to rest. That means Van Rochante unexpectedly will have the opening edge. He may be weak, but now he has the upper hand of the four Chow because all the other Chow will go on rest. So Van Rochante will have control. And he pauses for more, trying to get some attention here. Right now, there goes a couple of golden shells. We'll have the command of battling for the lead. And there goes Ren Wanshanta. He has the best position so far of the four shells. As Eric Crosby wins the winning toss this time around as one of the golden shell hardcores. Right now, it is Dane Miller and Fred Harrison who are both dancing to the beat as they're both getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. As Dane Miller will have Speedbus number two in this race. And he decided to take a shortcut. And so did Eric Crosby. Well, Eric Crosby leads over Dave Miller because of two jobs to a shortcut. Dave Miller, Eric Crosby leads over Dave Miller as number seven, who desperately needs some help every now and then, takes the next command to us. But I think that's all he's going to get for this race. He's going to be left behind in the competition for sure. But now it is Ben Marchante and Fred Harrison, who's going to see a little traffic jam ahead of the competition in the back. Which one man will gain command of the next command speed race? It is Ben Marchante. So now he will jump up to third place of the pack. Meanwhile, Eric Crosby is trying to hold off Dave Miller for an easy victory. Will he manage to hold off Dave Miller for an easy victory? Or will Dave Miller somehow make the miracle come back? We'll find out soon enough. Back to Ren Wanchante of the famous Luck of the Irish, who dominates with a fair place in the pack, but I think he's going to be made a fair place for a while. Anyway, the best of the pack, including Fred Henderson, sees so like they all need some catching up to do, as number two will have the next command speed He now dominates over the four Golden Chow and speedy swimmer Fred Henderson. By now, it is Eric Crosby who is trying to leave Dave Miller, hold on and lead at the home stretch. As number two will get back to the back speed bus. That makes two in a row by two in a row for Randall Shorty and number two. As number eight is going to rest, he's going to be left behind in the competition. Along with Fred Harrison, who's also going to rest. As he takes the next speed bus, Eric Crosby hauls off Dave Miller for the midway. Well done. Number seven is going to rest. Dave Miller will have himself for second. And Randall Shorty will have to settle for third place. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this race. It will be made by number seven. That makes it it's like a speed bus on race, but he's left behind the competition. Alright, so Eric Crosby got himself for the win. And coming up in the next thing, we got the main event ready to go. But first, let's have a word from this.
Well, this is the last race of the season for the men's division portion of the roster. And it's been a fun time having you watching at home for the past 29 weeks. And right now we have one more race and one more playoff spot up for grabs for the men's division playoffs next week. I just want to say to you four remaining superstars, it's been a fun pleasure having all for the ride. You have done very well in the past and I'm happy to say you are all winners. Now it's time to find out who really deserves to earn that final spot and have all the shot at the glory for the 2017 World Championships. We wish you best of luck to all. Alright, Paul, you take it away for Week 28's main event. Alright, for the final main event of Week 28th of January 2016, we have our returning champion, Hal Miller, OJ Upton, or OJ Upton for short, the Metal Fusionist, Charu Pickles, and Chris Schneider of the Girl Getters. We're going to find out how it works in a moment, but first let me remind you, we'd like to thank our presenting sponsor this week for this week's main event, Wendy's, the executive power partner of Chow 2016. This past year, Wendy has donated more than $4.3 million to all the charities, and we thank Wendy's for all the support they had over the past year. So, it's best of luck one last time these four players, let's have a Chow and it looks like how Mills got to rest as Chao flies down the rainbow path and into the palm trees. Chao trying to make the playoffs after only having one win in the first half of the season. And there he goes, pressing down the line. Right now, RJ Upton and Chris Schneider are eating food, and it looks like they'll both get some food. Now, how Miller won't go to eat the food. And there he goes, he's going to join OJ and Chris in battle for the rest of the pack. And it looks like RJ Upton is going to be heading for the water. As the final main event's opening toss of the season will be made by number 8, who's trying to lead numbers 1 and 7 in the dust. Right now it is number 7, who is way behind in the competition on the way in the back. And he's better to take the water. As number 8, who flies down on the aisles, takes the oh, takes back to back speed bars for the last North Mansivation race of the season. <clears throat> That fly should move up a couple of places with that effort. As number seven will get the next command speed bus. <coughs> we're pushing one minute mark of this exciting race. And it looks like the male fusionist, Chao Pickles, has a very comfortable lead ahead of his opponents. As number eight, who dominates over the rest of the pack, will have another turn. That makes his first speed bus out of the last four speed bus we have currently. By now, it is numbers 1 and 7 who are both getting left behind on the way back. These two shall battling for two life as the next viewers we may buy, how many are the middle traders? But I don't think either one of his opponents will be able to catch up to each other because they're now and then. Well, there's always next season for how and OJ and Chris. They've done pretty well so far. Next viewers belongs to number 1, who's trying to lead number 7 and then me over the back in the back. Yeah, and there's always next season for the other three superstars. Looks like Chao Pickles is going to celebrate a dream season after almost a win-win season in the first half. As Chris Schneider will have the next command for us and how many is going to mess again? It looks like Chao Pickles is going to get to the finish line. The middle fugitive Chao Pickles wins this one by a landslide. As number two, we have the next command for us. We know it's wide seven in the dust. Chao Pickles makes the playoff! I think it's going to have the number 7 seed because Fred Harrison lost the previous race. I think he's going to have the number 7 seed. I think he's going to face Dane Miller in the 2017 playoffs. I know that, as number 8 will close up the speed runs for the final main event of the Chao Racing 2016 season. And number 1 has no hope for surviving whatsoever. All right, so Chao Pickles is in the playoffs. Thanks to all the young Chao for all that support. We'll see you next season. And we are back with the Women's Division Bases after we hear what from this. So, here is how the final standing shows for the 2017 Chao Hazen playoffs next week. As you know, the number one seed will be Chris Benagos with an impressive 21 and 8 record. Followed by Dave Miller in second place. The third seed is Alan Holmes, Gary Dayton Wise up in the fourth seed. 
The Wise and Drive out here. So you're now to the fifth seed. The sixth seed belongs to Big Cherry Tommy Days. Joe Pickles after slumping in the first half, managed to make his way through and came up with the number seven seed ahead of Fred Harrison. We lost in a, a tough one at the belly end, but he still managed to hold on with the number eight seed. Well, as I we know how the playoff for will know next week. So congratulations to these eight superstars on a job well done. And we'll see you next week for a shot at all the glory. So we are done for the men's division portion of the season. Now we got one more division to go for the women's division and we got eight more races to decide which four divas will represent as the inaugural women's division playoff participants in the 2013 women's championship contention. So for the final time this season, let's bring out our challenging divas! Here is Paul Sack. I want to talk about this first race. Paul, who do we have for our first winner's division race of the finale? All right, Brandon. Our first winner's division season finale race will feature Erica Ferris, Rihanna Simon, and Cynthia Jones. And there's the lineup for this race. And it's best of luck to those three dealers one last time this season. Everyone's on the clock. And let's rock this place! Alright, there goes the three divas busting down the line. Which one of them will end the season with a W on the board? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, the three divas are going to cheat the palm trees. And it looks like the most one and a were going to rest in the current moment. Right now, the three divas are going to eat the food. Rihanna Simon is dancing, and there goes Erica Fellows! He, she's gonna have a command on the lead up in front. By the way, it looks at it. And who is gonna get the opening toss? It's gonna be made by Cynthia Jones! That's who! She is heading for a while! Oh, and Rihanna Simon, I think. And by now, number one is getting left behind on the bridges. Oh, I'm with number six, trying to catch up to number six. As speed bus number two, we may buy number two, who leaves Sylvia Jones in the dust because she was going to rest. Now he's trying to catch up to Rihanna Simon in for the lead. Right now, number seven is getting left behind in the competition. And number eight pauses more more and trying to get some attention here. As the next PS we may buy, Erica Fellows, who is catching up. To Rihanna Simon with that speed bus. Sylvia Jones also trying to catch up to the rest of the pack in a hurry. As she will get a turn. In fact, she gets another turn. That makes it second speed bus of the race. Now she's doing a pretty good job keeping up with the pace. Right out of the other four to a are getting left behind the competition. They're all battling for a do life all the way back. Which one of them will get the next command speed bus? It's going to be number six who got the next command. That'll be enough to take the lead over the rest of the Silver Chow. Number two dominates in second place over the five Silver Chow. And Erica Fellows has the lead over Sylvia Jones and Rihanna Simon who are battling for third place at the current moment. As Erica Fellows, our leader, will have the next command of Speedbus. That makes her a second Speedbus of the race. I know that. And she's trying to put this race a little bit early ahead of Rihanna Simon and number two. Who are battling for second place as the next previous point made by number six, who dominates over the rest of the Silver Chow in fifth place. Numbers one, seven, and eight are all battling for two life while on the way in the back. And it looks like number eight will have the next command on the speed bus as Erica Fellows holds on Rihanna Simon for the victory. Erica Fellows finishes with eight wins in her 2016 uh, Women's Division season. Well done by Erica Fellows. She gets the job done above 500 for the season. Good chance we'll see you back next year. And there's more assignment coming up. Right, Bennett? Right, there's more assignment coming up. Do not go away.